Hello guys and welcome back to Wayne Nation and today's video is going to be a little bit different so for today we're actually taking a step out of the video games and into the real world where we're setting up the Ciano Nexus Pure 25 LED tank now I've got quite a big tank down in the living room downstairs um, which used to house the parents of the little baby fish that you've just seen in this tank but I wanted to upgrade and I wanted to upgrade it for quite some time so this was the first ever fish tank that I bought first ever fish tank that I had was this lovely tank by here but now we've upgraded to this one, so we've got a heater to go in it, we've got the LEDs, we've got the lid, we've got, we've got absolutely everything you would need for a fish tank. So we're going to go ahead and get it set up, I'm going to let it cycle for a week or two, maybe three, and then we're going to move the baby fish across. So the baby fish is a sword tail, and for any of you that may know, they are live bearers, so what this means is that they give birth to live young. So rather than lay eggs like some fish, they give birth to actual baby fish, which swim around. Now unfortunately, the animal kingdom being what it is, uh, these baby fish will be eaten. They'll be eaten by other fish, or in some cases they'll actually also be eaten by the parents themselves. So for that reason, we had to rescue this little guy out of the tank. Uh, we put him in that tank that we luckily had lying around. We've, we'd filled it up, it's still done a cycle because we'd not long taken the other fish out. So that was pretty, pretty handy and quite lucky. But we've got him in there and now we've got this other tank for him to grow in and if he has any other brothers or sisters that come out of the big tank then they'll be going in here too. And I think what I'll do at the end of this video is I'll do a sort of a comparison as well. So I'll do a quick video showing the bigger tank. But for now, let's get this bad boy sorted. So as you can see I've already started putting this tank together. I've already got the LEDs in the top. So one of the LEDs or one of the strips going across the top is the LED, so there's only one light on there. The others and the other uh, sort of boxes, the bits and bobs, I kind of really know what you call them, they're for hiding the wires, which is nice, it'll give it a nice clean look. So once the filter's in there and he's over there, and the heater's in there and he goes over there, the wires are nicely hidden then in these towers that are at the back. So it's quite quite a nice setup to be honest. So they want to make it look a lot more cleaner. Um, I like the cube design as well, the sort of square that we've got. The glass is looking nice, um, and I think with some nice stones it'll really complement it. So previously we've had this one, um, which was nice, but the sort of the shape of the glass itself distorts your eyes when you're trying to see it. So you can't really appreciate the fish quite as much uh, as you'd hope. The plants in there as well are some that we had lying around, so they had a little bit of hiding spots for the baby fish, and then the stones are ones that we had in there before as well. So. This one's going to be a lot nicer. We're going to have the addition of the heater as well, which is really important. So unfortunately, we didn't have that luxury with this tank, unfortunately. Um, but it, it was more about keeping that fish alive as opposed to, to keeping it warm. So let's get this shot on the road. Let's get it started. So we've got a nice little corner connection piece. With all that adds to these pipes. And the pipes that I want to do, uh, just guard them all, all times today. Just stream some water out into the aquarium itself. Uh, so Talking bollocks, this is actually something that is crucial to be a standard three point plug. We do love the instructions, I think. Yeah, they want to mention. No, so, yeah, it's very important that you cycle your tank. We're not doing so, I mean, the light rates may build up, so the tank itself has to settle. Now, when I was referring earlier to the flimsiness of the tank, what I was referring to was this section right here. Now, this comes apart. I'm just going to pull that apart and demonstrate. Now this one actually seems pretty good. So inside here, you've got your mesh. So I'll take it out so I can show you. So you've got your mesh and that catches all the big parts, all the big particles, all the big bits that you don't want staying in your tank. So I'm just dragged up through the bottom. Got my cap back on, fantastic. And this bit. Now once it's inside the tank, hmm, to be fair, I may have had a defective one previously there. But the previous fill that I had, that was this one, was a bit of a nightmare. But it looks as if they may have fixed it, to be honest with you. Because this one is it's going together rather nicely. So I must say I'm impressed with a few Sienna. Well done. So we'll get the 
filter the block is better. Pop down his home, and then you can go there again. Just good brush. So it goes in there like that. Yeah. So the filter bit sits at the top, like so. Put the encasing now in place, and then this goes straight in the top with the encasing itself. Um, and to be honest with you, that is feeling pretty solid. That's that's a good, good little, uh, good little filter to be honest with you for a small tank. I'm happy with that. And then the U bend, whichever way you want it, attaches like so with the actual pipe section. Then going in there. So to show you a demonstration, the water will be sucked up through this area, go up through all the filters, and then come out nice and clean. Ready to not arm your fish, which of course is exactly what you want. So, again, that's the Ciano CF40. Lovely little filter for a lovely little tank. So, let's get this popped in place. Let's start piecing it all together. Yes, yes, sir. Ooh, now one other thing that I forgot. These ones, actually, there's an app, you can download the Ciano app, so don't throw any information out, which is a mistake I made with my last tank. Don't throw any information out, because you can actually connect this to your phone and keep an eye on your tank digitally, which I think is a spot on, lovely touch. But let's get this bad boy in there. So I think because of the piping, or the way that the piping goes, it makes sense to put this one on the left. Um, or, actually we could put it on the right and just have it going across. I won't dwell on it too much, let's just chuck it in and see how it goes. So that goes in there like so. And then you've got these lovely little plastic clips. So just to show you what I'm doing at the moment, I've now run the lead down through the back blocks, straight to the bottom, where it comes out of the rear, which is nice. It makes it look nice and clean. And then you've got these clips there, and these lovely little clips that go over the top. Let's pop that back in place. And pop it on there. So it looks nice and pretty. Yeah. My common sense would tell you to do this in a position that is a bit more accessible. However, it isn't actually born with any common sense, so this will have to do. Okay, that's looking great. So the next thing I'm going to do is pop in the filter, or the heater rather. Not the filter, but the heater. And for the heater, we've got the resin aquarium thermostat heater. Some like 30, 50 rather. It's a nice little 50 watt heater with a water level printed on there as well. Nice. I've not seen the resin heaters before. I think downstairs you've got the fluval heater in the bigger tank. But this is, uh, should look quite nice. Pop these in a position which I think might make sense to me. But we may adjust them as time goes on. So, we've got the heater in, we've got the filter in, we've got the LEDs connected. Let's just pop this in there to make it look nice and neat and tidy. Tidy on the telly. Actually, we 
I'll turn this on. There we go. It's, it's getting more wood, even for me. Even for little old opposable thumbs, mate. Come on, you play ball. There he goes, perfect. Anyways. The heat down the far left. I think we'll move this filter back across. Since we've now decided that we're not using the lid. So we're now at the point where we've tidied up the little bits and bobs quite nicely, might I add? We are cooking on gas. Now this is the LED, so we're going to test that first. Here's an extension lead I made earlier. Don't be the style. Oosh. That's not on. Now it is. Oh, so is the LED, and that is pretty. Fill that attached on it. No. Now it is. It's nice and square. So then, what we'll do. Quickly pop downstairs, get the old trusty uh, watering can, and we'll get this show on the road. The stones have been put in, the water's been put in, the filters and bits are in there, but I'm gonna have to wait and slowly take all these little bits and bobs of our force in the stone bag out. Probably could have done with filtering them first, but oh well, we learn from our mistakes. The LED lights are on and they're looking good. So I guess the only thing that's next is pop the filter on along with the heater. So we'll go with the filter first. And we'll see, fantastic. So we've got power to the filter, it's all blowing through, it's all looking good. Bingo, bango, bongo. It's looking fantastic. And then the heater. Now, unfortunately, the heater is not half as exciting to watch. 
However, it works, hopefully. Only time will tell. Oh no, the heater light is on, so the heater's working. Great. Fantastic. So I'll wipe this over before the other half completely ripped my balls are. Bish bash bosh. Stones are in there looking good. Now we was gonna go with some green plants, but personally I don't think green is gonna complement the purple and white stones that we've got, along with the white base and the actual room itself colour scheme is white. So let me know in the comments below what colour plants do you think we should go for? Is that what mine looks like from the front? There is a lid option, but the only thing I've thought is the top verse as far as the water level can go. And if I was to put a lid in, it'd be a struggle to put the heater in as well. So I think considering the sword tails you've got don't tend to jump. And if they do, they're not gonna jump that far. I think we'll leave the lid off. But yeah. Bish bash bash it's all together. So we're gonna leave that for a week or two. Depending on how it is, we're going to then test the water, see if it's ready for little fish. And little fish has a new home. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Something very different. But I thought since the other half had bought me a new fish tank, it's only fair that we filmed it going together. But if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a comment below to let me know that you like this type of content. Drop a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some more epic content. Thank you very much for joining me, Wayne Nation, out.